Hi, my name's Joe, and if you've not seen my ant weight video, I recommend seeing that first. This video is about me building my first beetle weight combat robot, which is a larger version of my ant weight robot, Crabsolutely Clawful. So the chassis for this robot was primarily built out of HDPE, which is the same material used for chopping boards, so it's quite rubbery and can take a big hit. For my robot, I'd found red HDPE on eBay, and I decided to try a mixture of cutting and heat bending to uh, make the shape of my crab. So here you can see me and my friend Scott bending the body shape of the crab out of a bar of HDPE. So next up, I cut a base plate out. And I heat bent a back plate from the same base plate. Next up, motors and wheels. So I'm screwing a drive motor into a mount here. Then I'm screwing in the wheel hub popping on the wheel and attaching a snap ring to hold the wheel firmly in place. Now I want to test my drive motors. I'm using these speed controllers to make my motors move. So I'm soldering the speed controllers to the motors, then I'm going to give them a test. We have drive. Here we go, here's the survey. Got a b beetle weight, don't I? So my good friend Scott did me a massive favour and did some milling for me. He milled the inside of the base to make it thinner and lighter, as I couldn't get thinner red HDPE. The end result was a base and top plate of 5mm thick, but the sides of 10mm thick. Next I cut out an area of the base for the wheels to go. I'm doing this so I can have wheel protection on the sides. And now it's time to mount the drive system. I marked where to drill holes. I then drilled those holes and screwed the motor mounts into place. Right, so I've just added some more mounts to the motors now to make them stand in place a bit better. Finally, attaching the motors to the mounts and giving it a good old drive test. Now onto the fun part, the weapon. In SketchUp I designed a servo mount and then 3D printed it. I unscrewed the original servo base. After printing the mount I've uh, attached it to the servo. Screws on the back. I've just drilled some holes in here uh, to mount the servo to the base. So let's do that now. Whoa! Meanwhile Scott has become this crazy man. Then I drilled the side of the body to the base. Now the crab arms. These were cut out of 20mm HDPE, which is double the thickness of the body. I pretty much hand drew and cut these out, so they were a bit rough, but they did the job. I then drew and cut the crab claws out of the same material as the arms. I've drilled uh, the arms ready to mount in. I mounted the arms on M6 screws with the biggest washers I could find. I attached linkage joints from RC cars to the servo and connected these to the arms with threaded bar to create the weapon mechanism. I tested the weapon slowly so I could set the right rotation limits of the servo on my controller. And finally I drilled the claws into the arms. So now I've added these uh, mounts here so that we can uh, attach the roof. I've now added this removable link here. It will go in like that. I've added an LED. So I've velcroed in the battery here and I've just started mounting this middle beam here because I'm seriously underweight and I want to add some structural integrity as well as some weight. All the electronics are glued down now. Okay, so now I've mounted the uh, roof properly. The most important thing left to do is uh, adding these guys here. It definitely looks uh, less, less, less uh, cute than this guy. A bit more derpy, maybe. But there you go. There's a comparison. Put everything together. I'm only at twelve eight six, so I am two hundred and fourteen grams underweight currently. Right, so it's now uh, almost 11 o'clock on the night before. Last minute resorts, I've shoved a, a big heavy metal bar here, here and here 
to, <laughs> to try and weigh down the back so it can drive a little bit better. It drives a sort of better, but not really. The weight is now 1480 grams, which is 20 grams off the normal limit. So just a quick summary of how the robot was at this point. The weapon system was working quite nicely, but the drive system's a bit flawed. Basically, the ground clearance for the wheels wasn't quite enough, so they would catch quite a lot. And you'll see this in the coming fights. So here we go. Here is Crabsolutely Clawful at its first event. the when someone had had far too much time on their hands and probably some liquid in the I want the crowd to have a big support in here. Everyone wants to see crowd do well and if not, it's if we did it. Three, two, one, activate! And the Thank <laughs> you. 